What up, Reject Nation? Look at us. We're back with Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and you're our first mic experiment. Well, not our first. We actually have like a gazillion microphones. <laughs> we got so mm -hmm. much, and we just can't mm -hmm. seem so to, much sound. Can't seem to figure it out. <laughs> we'll get been, it someday. It's been experiment after experiment, and I'm like, man, we have the the weirdest. My dream inconsistent someday. sound for a YouTube channel. My it's dream like, someday is to place. take an entire day just to figure out the sounds once and for all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we have so many things on the wall. Balls too. It's like that is what sound is all over the board. Here our trial for this one to see how this one goes. Unfortunately, the best way to run these tests is to see what it's like when we do a full recording. Yeah, we're back at it now that the new place is here. This is episode something or another, I think eleven. So if you guys can leave a like, that'd be very much appreciated. Let us know if this sounds all right. It's a little much. We're probably just gonna switch to headphones <laughs> like my brother mm -hmm. does and have a little earpiece here. It's probably the most efficient way to do it, honestly, because we usually have two to three people on camera with us. And that's why it's a, a little bit more complicated. So we'll like, I don't want this like giant ass pole and mic in the thumbnails. I really care about that. I'm pretty particular about the thumbnails. Anywho, it's a lot of crap I just said, told you guys. Subscribe and click that bell. And also, um, yeah, you can check us on Patreon. That'd be very much appreciated. And thanks to the boys at Prepper for helping us edit these down. Let's get to it. Are you eating an Italian sub for breakfast? I am, but Amy said I should eat more veggies, so I got extra pepperoncini. Smart. Love a good pepperoncini. Oh, no. Excuse me. You need to watch yourself. I'm sorry. Cop. <laughs> All right. Are you going to arrest me for dancing? You call that dancing? Oh. <laughs> this is dancing. Oh, please. What is happening? Let's do this. <laughs> Boyle, get your phone out. I got it. Okay. Oh, no, my hands are covered in butter from making butter. <laughs> <laughs> Camera off. All right, here we go. Dancing over. Situation diffused. No! <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys are adorable. Tell me everything the doctor says about your uterine climate. Oh, and also that. Gross. Big news. Is this something other people would keep private? Big time. We're trying <laughs> to have a baby. Oh. Wow, that is awesome. That's big news. Charles, I thought you were sterile. I distinctly remember you using the phrase shooting dust. Yes. Oh, yes, I imagined that. <laughs> yeah, I still don't know why you dove in crotch first. <laughs> first, Stephen. We're going to fill out form 38E-J1 stating non-compliance. We send it to the DA, but do they process it right away? No, because they're overwhelmed. <laughs> so your court date won't be set for six or eight weeks, and even then you're going to have to block out the whole day because they don't give you a specific time. No, no. <laughs> it's a window. <laughs> I thought we were going to try to scare him. There's nothing scarier than the realities of the municipal court system. Now, come on, let's get back in there and tell them about how bad the website is. Look, <laughs> I'll talk. <laughs> Not the turnout I was hoping for. Maybe I should have offered free strudel. Then at least Scully would have come. There's free strudel? <laughs> I'm going to come at you, and you're going to take me down. You better impress me if you want that recommendation to be good. I'm going to try, Sarge. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, Wowie! Oh, Give me a towel! <laughs> and that's what you get for lying about free strudel. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. Who's Catherine Hahn? Yes. Your ex wife is here. That one work? No. Oh. There's no male thing, but it's my sperm. How did you even find out I wanted it? Because it counts under my name. Storage facility called me saying that you were looking to make a withdrawal, so I went ahead and withdrew it for you. I have all of your sperm. Oh my god. Oh hey Charles, I'll never have a baby with you because I don't love you and a child's not gonna fix that. Oof. When we started doing the silly voice, I thought it was gonna be more fun, but... <laughs> I hit some dumbass with my car. Now he's suing me. What I want is for you to use your badge and your gun to intimidate him into dropping the case. Or I'm gonna take your sperm and I'm gonna dump it into the East River. Please don't do that. There will never be the possibility of a little pie-faced Charles Boyle Jr. Proud of it, it's me. What a terrible person. The sperm is her legal possession. It also says that she, and I quote, owns your dignity 
You initialed right next to that. <laughs> oh. Total disaster. I'll never be happy in my life. Why are you yeah. smiling? Because this is exactly what we've trained for. It's a hostage situation, and we're going to bring your boys home. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what we know about Eleanor. Oh, my <laughs> wedding day. I should have known it was a mistake when she said I suppose instead of I do. Yeah, ouch. All right. <laughs> hey, Sergeant. How are you? Well, my baby cries at the side of my face now. <laughs> if it helps, I brought you some soothing ginger tea. Don't Will we pair the place where my nose came off my skull? I don't know, but it's supposed to have healing vapors, so try inhaling it. Thank you. Oh, no. Don't no, 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 no. Oh, it burned! Oh. The vapors burned! No! No! Ow! I am petrified of you! Oh. <laughs> Do you threaten that 90 year old man for me yet? But the guy you hit was 90? Yeah, and you would know that if you had talked to him, which obviously you did not, so goodbye. <laughs> we need proof of life. I'd be happy to dump one of the containers out of the window. No, 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 don't do that. Please don't dump my sperm on us. Hello, ma'am. <laughs> Gina, take a statement. Yes, thank you. I'm gonna get this guy to admit to crimes he hasn't even committed. No, that would be a huge problem. <laughs> <laughs> the guy wanted to talk to a real person, not a cop. That's why he asked for me. Actually, I asked for you because we went to high school together. What? Steven Henderson. We had a bunch of classes together. No, no. Eleanor. Jake. Charles. Okay, you just said your own name, but it's the only one that I... Okay, so. <laughs> as soon as she comes back in here, I'm gonna grab that cup right out of her hands and run like hell. You think that'll work? I don't just think it will. Know it, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> there are two real containers. One is in a safe location, and this is the other one. Or rather, it was the other one. No! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm sorry, but I don't have a choice, Jake. I'm gonna go bully an old priest so I can get my sperms back. Priest? <laughs> <laughs> Friend. No! No! Carl, what are you doing? No, 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 no! Not the keys! No! Oh, I should have known. You're a hugger, not a shaker. There was. Uh. <laughs> rejected. I've never been rejected from anything. Me neither. Did you say rejected or ejected? I've been rejected a lot. My application was so good. You know what? I've also been ejected. <laughs> How could you? Excuse me? It's the only explanation. You're mad that I broke your face and I burned your whole body. Well, grow up. <laughs> I have a Roth IRA. I eat wheat toast. You grow up. <laughs> Here's the letter that I sent. Amy Santiago is one of the finest detectives in my precinct. Nay, the entire NYPD. Yeah, I even used the word nay. <laughs> you would question my integrity is so uh oh oh no oh no I gotta sneeze no 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 oh, oh. Then there's gonna be lots of blood <laughs> here quick hand me those keys what will you give me for them <laughs> a dollar for a soda mine are all wet yes obviously I'll give you that <laughs> a soda only costs 75 cents you fool see you later sucker didn't even give him the dollar <laughs> I will not let you down. Steven, Steven. <laughs> In 4,000 feet, stay straight. You interrupted the song for that? <laughs> yeah, yep. <laughs> she came up onto the sidewalk and fractured my hip. You were a pedestrian? I'm technically <laughs> a pedestrian <laughs> if you're sitting on a bench. I'm sitting on a bench. <laughs> Yawns are coming. <sighs> Hi there, I'm Jake. This is my best friend Charles. He's trying to have a baby. You get it. <laughs> Come here, you. <laughs> Charles, I know you're mad, but you have to talk to me. It's funny how getting taste in the back can break your heart. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to be a papa, and you ruined it. You pop locked me. I know. <laughs> pop locked. I have a biological father, and he's a nightmare. I mean, he never played catch with me. He never taught me how to ride a bike. I had to learn how to shave from watching Home Alone. Makes sense. It's like Die Hard for kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it is. But I do know that you're going to be a great dad, with or without your boil oil. Nope, not going to say it. 
but you will. Adopt, my guy. Adopt. I sent the recommendation letter to the wrong place. I thought you were applying to be a mentor, not a mentee. You thought I wanted to be a Sam, not a Sam? Are you insane? Uh -huh. Well, you should be a Sam. No, I should be a Sam. <laughs> you are ready to be teaching others. I made a call. You're going to be a mentor. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry for ever questioning your integrity. Thank you so no, much. No, 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 stand back. Look, I'm still very scared of you. <laughs> I got Steven to talk. Yeah, it's fantastic. How did you do it? Did you finally show him the municipal court website? <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> I found something we bonded over. She didn't even know who I was, and we were good friends. On more than one occasion, she's called me Gina. That's her own name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in love, and I'm going to be a dad, and there's nothing you could do to stop me. So goodbye forever. Oh, and one more thing. Tell Hercules I'll see him at spin class on Sunday. Now, goodbye. Yeah. We were looking at possible donors on the way over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out this guy. I like him. He went to Yale. Oh, wait, that says Yale University. Swipe him off. This is fun. Oh, that's weird. That guy kind of looks like my dad. Wait a minute. Oh, my God, no. You cannot use his sperm. My son would be your brother. From your <laughs> 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 <sighs> It was Eleanor all along. Good shiz. How long were you waiting for that one, John? Wait, uh, sorry. How long were you waiting for that one, John? I was anticipating the right opportunity, but it never arose within the plot of the episode. Hmm. There was no big reveal involving Eleanor, so. I still thought it was funny. It was pretty funny. Thank you. It was uh, funny. You did a funny job. Thanks, thanks man. Uh, Funny's good. This is uh, welcome to ASMR stand up hey, comedy. There you go, saying the ASMR thing. Well, what's the deal it's with it's the airplane? It's always the ASMR thing. You gotta say the ASMR. It's the official joke of talking close into a mic. Yeah, God damn it. Like, let me, let me get all my, let me get all my mouth sounds. Oh, well, ASMR. Yes. <laughs> uh, let me get my hot breath in there. Some, some good mouth clicks. All right, guys. This is the episode where you whip out podcast mics for. This That's is, the one. This is Brooklyn Nine. -Nine. This is the one where we're gonna we're gonna talk forever. We're Warren's Warren's microphone so close most, to your face. <laughs> most pro sounding Brooklyn Nine Nine discussion <laughs> possible. That was really fun. You know, I've thought about adopting. I've always wanted to adopt instead. You know, like even though they don't end on adopting, I like that message at the end that a dad comes in all forms, shapes, and sizes, and it doesn't have to be just you know. Um, from your own sperm and DNA itself. I feel like there's a different association to be had with it. However, I do think that a lot of times, you know, like you might, people have shitty dads and then they find a father figure instead. And that can be the one you call dad. And I have a, I mean, I, won't, I don't want him to be the one to, I don't want to just put his personal life out there, but I do know someone whose dad abandoned them and then he has a someone who they're, the mother, his, his mother started dating, uh, like the boyfriend and been a boyfriend for many, many, many years. And he calls him dad instead. And, uh, yeah. So I, I do like the way this, this all ended ultimately. Yeah. I like how Catherine Hahn also just played villain mm -hmm. and wasn't like funny villain. She was a legit, like a, a frustrating bitch. <laughs> she actually wasn't funny. Yeah, <laughs> she, no, totally. She felt very real. And I thought Catherine, oh, he's going to be like a funny, quirky villain. And no, no, you seem like a, a pretty, pretty real out. She, she, she knew that being, yeah. to make the joke funnier was for her to not play it funny. And then to let the other things like the the uh, reveals about the whole uh, the, how it just kept escalating with the person she hit. And how it just kept getting compoundingly worse. <laughs> and the more we yes. got it closer to actually seeing the guy. Uh, it was funnier just because of how straightforward she was in the beginning about the whole situation. Mm -hmm. So I think that uh, that's some some solid solid comedy right there. So, so some good physical comedy. There's a lot of physical comedy this episode. Mm -hmm. A lot, a lot. John, why don't you talk about the physical comedy? Yeah, John. Yeah, through the the, the ball either. I'll find different ways to let you know I'm segueing you. Gotcha. Find, instead I, of being like, hey, look, look at me toss, tossing the baton here. <laughs> no, I thought there was a lot of really fun physical comedy, especially obviously with Amy and Terry. And uh, Your I, audio sounds so much better than mine. Why is that? I'm not sure. This is crazy. Uh, this is bullshit. John's favoring himself. No, no, no it sounds uh, better now. Yeah, it's just about the angle and the proximity to your mouth. God damn it. It's okay. It's work in progress. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I enjoyed the uh, the Terry and uh, uh, Amy storyline of uh, you know yeah him being increasingly afraid of her and him in- <laughs> undergoing increasing levels of pain and anguish, and then ultimately the way that she uh, <laughs> that paid off, and to yeah all the physical like sight gags and stuff about like this 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 priest scenario. And speaking of sight gags, meeting. you guys clearly know what this looked like. <laughs> Uh, make your make your pervy jokes, people. I was gonna say, why, what? What do you mean? Oh, oh, like a big uh, lolly, like a big popsicle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because big almost, black popsicle. It's almost <laughs> summertime. Yeah, get your charcoal popsicle going. I didn't know Terry Crews was in this video. <laughs> hey, that's right. He is in in more ways than than one. Because there's two. Anyway, <laughs> there's a lot of good physical comedy <laughs> in this episode, and a lot. I don't know. I thought all the plot lines had uh, had like obviously like the Charles and and uh, and Jake is the centerpiece and is the most engaging. But I, I loved watching yes Terry become more and more frightened of Amy, and uh, then Holt doing his dancing, and then later on the whole bit with the interrogation and Gina talking to this guy, and then finally that being this catapult for Rosa to identify with how much they both get aggravated by her. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought they were really fun. A lot of really fun games and a lot of really fun, even just like with the physical timing of things, like Scully showing up out of nowhere when Terry mentions Strudel. Just like little little things like that were just like so perfectly timed. Or uh, even the bit with Scully and the, or, uh, Hitchcock in the garage and the dollar and the soda. and <laughs> like, Yeah. There's like so many great little back and forth quippy bits and things. Very true. Yeah. And... Uh, I liked what everybody had to learn this time, but I'm glad. I'm so I'm sad. Not glad. I'm sad. We didn't get to see the municipal court website and just how nightmarish those pull down menus are. Because it always mystifies me how we live in a time and place, especially in the greatest country on earth, these United States of America. Like it all is the, the greatest, yeah. yeah, but yet all the like state and government technology sucks. <laughs> Like these websites don't work, and like you know, even like basic things like Wi Fi when you got to go to a place like that is just like just slow and it doesn't work. And you're like, why, why, why do we keep getting told we're in the most state of the art place in the world and we can't get any of this shit right? <laughs> you know, because it's not, it, it, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna go off on a, on a rant about capitalism now. Hey, capitalism is good. Oh, sure, depending on how you use it, <laughs> sure. Maybe. <laughs> That's what's built this country. It is. It is. No, there's a lot of corruption in capitalism. If you use capitalism properly, it could be good. For a time. <laughs> what are you talking about? For a time. What are you thinking about? I'm thinking of like bare minimum capitalism. Minim- mid-stage, early stage capitalism perhaps, yeah. Like starting up a YouTube channel and deciding to make <laughs> your living off of it is a form of capitalism. Sure, yeah. That's not bad. No. There's a lot of people who do it. If you're watching this, you're supporting everyone who ever does it. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not yeah. that, but it's 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 a part of a larger ecosystem of, of interconnected things that all are subject to the tenets of capitalism, those of which are debatable. <laughs> yeah. It's what it's about what capitalism does to our human instincts. More so than the system I think the, the greedy part of capitalism is the bad part. And it incentivizes that greed, though. Yeah, depending on how you... I think I think there's plenty of people who... There's, like, other people in... Uh, where are we going on this tangent? I have no <laughs> idea. This is neither the time nor the place to debate. Sure, I've got him. Tr- I, I didn't mean to seriously bring up the topic oh, of yeah. capitalism. I was more joking. Oh, no, people. no. Capitalism, in many ways, has destroyed our, our country in, in, in more ways than yeah. one. But the, the, our planet. The, the, uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but the the concept of it, you know, like, from the small business owner days of America, I think, are, like, the great 
times of capitalism that have now ventured off into like corporate sh shenanigans that have destroyed our <laughs> world and our society. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, like I'm a, I'm a fan of like the old ideals of like, yeah, you know, start your own business <laughs> and, and have, yeah. A, yeah. have a be a small business owner or something like that. Like th those kind of things, you know, yeah. start a business, employ a few people, make something yeah. good you can give to the world. Be self-employed. Yeah. Like there, there's yeah. definitely uh, things about or learning new you know, make investments and profit, but then I think there's a lot of the uh, corruption. There's so, so, I mean, it's very obvious. We really need to dive into how it's been for the past few decades alone of how there's been a lot of just complete, total. Corporations are people, awful. Greg. No, 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 no there's, there's got to be better ways to, to go about it. You know? There aren't. Well, we won't see them in our lifetimes. No, no. It's not American. No. And then, you know, if you. Yeah. Anyway. All right. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is fun. <laughs> it's, a weird, <laughs> it's a weird episode review. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of great plots, though. I like this episode a lot. I mean, props, like you said, to Catherine Hahn, because I feel like I've been seeing her through so many years, and she especially is really good at showing up, playing the character, being 100% committed, and giving just what it needs without ever feeling like she's trying to steal focus. And I always appreciate that about Katherine Hahn, which is why I'm so happy that in a post WandaVision world, she is really getting her flowers and recognition because I think she deserves that shit. Totally, totally. Yeah, man. All right, guys, well, hey, I think it's time we do a page. <laughs> Pandemic Jones. Page. I haven't checked the list, but I'm assuming you're still on there. <laughs> I think he's on there. PJ. I was thinking about who would I want to um, be the father of my child. And it's definitely you. It's definitely you. I think Pandemic Jones would make a hell of a dad. Because he'd make it all about me. <laughs> <laughs> he'd find a way to give his sperm our way. And then being a Pandemic Jones, I could finally fulfill my master plan with that PJ sperm. Mm. <laughs> where my seed would, his seed would spread under my name <laughs> throughout, <laughs> throughout the world. Get a child of Greg Alba. <laughs> under my, it's PJ Sperm, but under my name. <laughs> Spreading under my name. <laughs> then then uh, uh, everyone would, because it's like you would read the list of all the great qualifications that PJ has, but he'd use my name and be like, but this is all technically, you know, under the, because it's capitalism. So uh, <laughs> yes. I would buy PJ you Sperm. You buy the rights. <laughs> I buy the rights to pat in his spurs. I buy the rights to exploit them worldwide. And then I would exploit it worldwide. So that way, uh, in every state where people, have a child they would always go wow the, this list is great of this person and then before you know it there'd be a, a little greg in but it's looking like pj though mm. but through the legality titling it would be greg uh everywhere across the world uh so pj i'm talking about <laughs> your, your sperm i own now <laughs> yeah crazy. how do you feel about this that? only makes sense if you <laughs> watch the episode <laughs> and if you ever threaten to leave the patreon we're gonna dump all of your reserve sperms and then what will you do i'd swim in it <laughs> And then I'd be, come out of sperm, man. <laughs> I just thought of several new PJ acronyms. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys soon. <laughs>